room. This is my stop sign. Hello, fellow road crew worker. Welcome to the road crew. I am on the road crew. This is my stop sign. Yes, we are all on the road crew. Our backs are killing us. Hello. I work in the, the sewers. The sewer carries human waste. Hello, sewer worker. I, I work in the sewers. As do I. We must stick the together against those who would judge us. Are responsible. They got Freddy. Poor Freddy. He was such a good secret agent. I mean, assassin. Who is shooting at us? It's a fake. Sometimes. I'm worried the other assassins are gonna make fun Watch of out, fellow assassin. There seems to be someone shooting at us from that tower. Adjustments need to be made when firing in the wind. I am an assassin. Got it! Assassins are gonna make fun of me. It's fake. I'm worried the other assassins are gonna make fun of me. It's fake. I'm worried the other assassins are gonna make fun of me. Freeze! Don't come any closer. I'll never tell you the location of the milkman. Never! Okay, let's all just settle down and talk. Where is the milkman? Who is the milkman? What is the mission of the milkman? Come closer. And I'll tell you. Glad I never bought any of those. Hmm. The view from up here is pretty good, but I still can't see enough. I need a way to get even higher. Like, super high. As if I were flying. I know! Maybe I could find some stilts. Stop, helicopter! Land and let me in! I want to see the view from up- Stop, helicopter! Land and let me in! I want to see the view from up there, please! Helicopter, land and let me in. S -s 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 hey, hey you, hey, hey you in the helicopter. I've gotta stop. Helicopter, land and let me in. I want to see the view from up there, please. I am a helicopter. 
helicopter pilot. I like to fly helicopters. We are looking for the milkman. We don't know where he is. Helicopters can go up and down. Man, these guys are dumb. Hey, wait. What's that? I'll bet that's him. The milkman. Helicopters move sideways, too, but not as fast as planes. He's on that remote island over there. is that sound? Hello? Who is the milkman? Boyd, is this you? I think I found the milkman. I have no idea what you're talking about. Who is this? Okay, from now on, your name isn't Boyd. It's Royd, because you're such a big pain in my butt. If you see the lady tossing the cookies, run away. skilled phone repairer. Assassins are going to make fun of Sometimes me. I work for the government. I am in charge of assassinating important figures. This is my gun. I am a skilled phone repairer. with us. Is there anyone on the line?
Ju just a minute! Gosh, I sure hope someone is there this time. Who is it? Hello? <laughs> Aha! Oh, hello there. Have you come to pay for your rainbow treats? We knew you would. Won't you join us in our rainbow squirt, Pledge of Purpose? To promote niceness. To make the world prettier. To share candy with everyone. To obfuscate the true nature of the milkman. To protect the milkman at all costs. All who would harm the milk or threaten, threaten, threaten to reveal the secret objective. Go, girl! Protect the milk! I am! Do not follow! The milk is not ready, and you are not ready for the milk! you not to follow. Now you must die! But that is the way of the rainbow squirt!
am the milkman. My milk is delicious. And the sea shall run white <laughs> with his rage. I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. Special delivery today. I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. Boyd? Are you okay? Time for the final delivery to this address. Hey, is that milk regular kind? Or the exploding dream kind? It's fortified with what the world wants. What the world deserves. Are you sure you don't want to just talk about this, Boyd? This one right next to Kitty's. Yes! I got a brain! Finally! Now your ears won't whistle so much when the wind blows. <laughs> no, I meant I recovered a stolen brain. Oh, I know what you meant. Sheesh! You and Sasha. No sense of humor when you're on a mission, hmm? Well, are you gonna come back here so we can recranialize that noodle while it's still al dente? Hey, boy, why are you trying to burn down the asylum? I am the milkman. little doggy get out of the pen. better groom than the rest of the brains. Thank you, all of you. You're all so kind. You make a girl so happy. Oh, you found my old trophy. I should really put that thing away before somebody hurts themselves on that gleaming metal claw-like part on the top. Say, would you like to hear the story of how I won that award, dear boy? Or are you trying to take it because you don't think I deserve it? No, no, uh, you deserve it. I didn't take anything from you. I didn't ask to be famous. I just wanted you to love me. Hey. What? You're supposed to be dead. <laughs> ah! Excuse me, ma'am, but did you see a girl? You must be my new leading man. Aren't you handsome? But, my gracious, you're so young. Tell me why do they keep casting me with such mere babes? I guess that's the curse of having an eternally young face.
wait! Don't listen to him! Retreat! Shut up, you fool! The battle is ours! Wellington is on the run! This is our moment of glory! Oh, shut up, you loon. The battle can't be won! We're gonna lose it! I'm afraid you lost it years ago, Fred. Now pipe down over there. I am the orderly, and I run a quiet, peaceful, insane asylum. Understood? <laughs> oh, now, see? You've disrupted Mr. Tagley's art therapy session. Ha <laughs> Le jour de gloire est arrivé! Whatever. Excuse me, sir? My name is Napoleon Bonaparte. Oh, uh, excuse me. Mr. Bonaparte. Shh, I only think I'm Napoleon Bonaparte. Do not listen to the weakling. He denies his lineage because he feels it. You'll have to excuse me. I'm busy losing a battle with my sanity here. For France! to be closer to the shore for Linda to hear it. What's up, Linda? Prepare yourself for passage, human child. Uh. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crowler? Let's go to Ford's... I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble Psycho Master. Besides the whole thinking and feeling they'll be able to do now, is that they will be adding their subconscious mental attention to your quest, and their energy will increase your mental health potential. That sounds great. But is the surgery going to be dangerous? Nothing's dangerous when you have the right tools. Messy, yes, but not dangerous. And so, long story short, we're hoping for the best, but preparing for the worst. Well, there's only one thing that can make this better. Pedicure. See ya! And so that's why, even though she is a girl, and we are good friends, she is not technically my girlfriend. Well, I can tell you one thing. My dad is never going to send me to this camp again. Where's Kitty? Never mind. I'll find her. And that's why we need your help more than anybody's. Well, shut my mouth. I better go patrol the living quarters, guard the women folk and all. Say, is my hombre walking around yet? Not yet, but soon. I just hope he forgives me for acting like such a dang fool. Agent Crawler? What is the current situation? I'd better go. Lots of work to do. Good luck, Rasputin. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler? 
Drop me outside the main lodge. Oh. Bring me back a burger this time, will you? Anything new in the store? Take a look. Now with that, you can change now. Mmm, dream oh, fluffs. It. Excellent choice. What else can I do you for? Mmm, dream fluffs. Delicious, nutritious, and cheap. Each one is packed with concentrated mental health. You shouldn't go anywhere without a pocket full of those. I'll take it. Alrighty then. What else can I I'll do you for? It. Alrighty then. What else can I do you for? What else can I do you for? I'll take it. Sold to the big-headed kid with the gloves. What else can I do you That's for? That's it for now. All right, go get more airheads. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler? Let's go to Ford's, I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble psycho master. Would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler? Bring me near the geodesic psycho isolation chamber. Roger that, Ranger Crawler. Scavenger hunt. Great old trick. I don't think anyone's ever done the whole thing before. Well, hold still. This might hurt. That felt good. Congratulations. Now get. Won't you help? I'm a ranger. I've got enough problems wrangling these leaves. Now get. Would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler? It's time to go to the lake. Yes, sir, Admiral, sir.
What's up, Linda? Prepare yourself for passage, human child. Yeah. Jealous! <laughs> oh, if you don't like the performance, a simple boo will do. Okay, Becky, get a grip. Child? Look, kid, it wasn't always like this. We used to have a hit show on our hands. Everybody loved us. But then our big star, Bonita Soleil, got stage fright and locked herself in her dressing room. So now we're stuck flipping between sunshine shenanigans and the horror of Hagatha Home. Uh -oh. Which is like flipping between a root canal and a sharp stick in the eye. Just ignore Jasper. He's just a critic who happens to be right. I'll go talk to Benita. I'm sure all she needs is a little pep talk. That and acting lessons. If you can get Benita to take the stage again, then you're the star of my show, kid. needs a candle to work. First tag here. Thank you. 
guess she really doesn't want to see anyone right now. Hey! Guess she really doesn't want to see anyone right now. Hey! Guess she really doesn't want to see anyone right now. Hey, watch it, or I'll call security. Excuse me, Miss Soleil. I heard you were feeling bad, so I just wanted to say that whatever you're going through, you're not alone. I used to be a performer myself, and I know how hard it is when... Kid, can't you see I'm trying to have a moment here? <laughs> Sorry. I was looking for Bonita Soleil. You mean the personal muse of Gloria Von Guten, her inner sunshine? The spirit of her youth, yes. That's me. What do you want, an autograph? I'm kind of busy here. So, who's that crying? Oh, sorry. Hey, can we kill the waterworks for a second? Thanks. It's a recording. It helps me focus. They need you on stage right away for your big number. Am I not playing this right or something? I'm drowning in a quagmire of self-pity. Why aren't you getting that? Should I be doing more with my hands? So, you're not going out on stage? Have you seen any of the plays we put on here? Those god-awful slices of Gloria's terrible life? How am I supposed to bring light to those? Listen, the burden of being the only sunshine in this theater is just too much for one beautiful, glowing, inspirational muse to bear, you know? Is there any way I can get you to take the stage? For the fans? If you can get me some help out there so I'm not the only light on the set. I'll turn on a spotlight. Uh, that could work. But you'll need a candle. Uh, I think there might be a spare in the storeroom. If you can get a candle into a spotlight and light it, I'll come out and give the show one last try. But I'm not promising anything. So, are you ready for your big number? Did you put a candle in that spotlight and light it yet? No, but I'm about to. So, uh, five minutes, Miss Soleil. Thanks, Sonny. I'll leave you alone now. I know you have a lot of crying to do. Thank you. Now, where was I? <laughs> Now, 
how can I light that candle? Flower girls in position one. And action! Tonight I will be playing the part of Gloria Von Guten, the famous actress. In this nostalgic memory of her breakthrough role in the smash hit musical, Sunshine Shenanigans! <laughs> and where would Gloria be without her muse? Her inner sunshine! The spirit of her youth! Play tonight, once again, by Bonita Soleil! Oh, I do so hope that my mother is proud of me! Not again! <gasps> the Phantom! I've seen some bad plays in my day, but this one's an actual menace! And it's all her fault. It's her bad acting that makes the Phantom strike. <laughs> this time, I'm going to file a formal complaint and get this theater shut down. Great. Well, I'm off to go kill myself. You know, you could be a more constructive critic. Kid, if you want to see a good play, come talk to me. I've got a script here that'll knock them dead, I promise. Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa! Careful! That's the manual mood override. That's how we set the right mood for the play. Mess with that, and we'll have happy plays on sad sets, sad plays on happy sets. Total chaos. Or worse, improv. So whatever you do, don't mess with the manual mood override unless you want to see some strange stuff happen. I think Becky's not telling me the whole story. I should go give her a piece of my mind. Hey, can you help me get up to the catwalk so I can fight that phantom? Ah! Can't get there from here! <laughs> I mean, unless you did that one particular play on that one particular set. Oh. But what am I saying? That's almost impossible! Forget about it! The theater is doomed! Hey, why do you have to be so hard on Benita? I'm trying to save you from that mysterious phantom character. He only attacks when Bonita performs. If we got rid of Little Miss Sunshine, we'd all be safer now, wouldn't we? I'm only thinking of the children. Benita's just trying to lighten things up around here. Ah! I've seen better shines on a shoe! She should quit now while she can still get a job as a nightlight. If you hate the show so much, why don't you just leave? Oh, I can't stop looking at it. It's like the sight of a horrible car accident. A car accident where the victims can't act and the paramedics forget their lines. If you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. The young boy's protests, though heartfelt, quickly lapsed into simplistic and tedious platitudes. One and a half stars. All right, later, you old gas bag. Listen, this play just stinks. Here, try this one instead. This play has some action in it, some zing. Wow, thanks. Are you actually being nice? No, I'm just trying to keep myself halfway entertained. Go, give that to Becky and see if she can't find some actors to ruin it. Benita performed, everything would be okay. Okay, so I left out the part about the deadly phantom. 
I thought you'd chicken out. Yeah, I'm a psychonaut. Just show me how to get up to those catwalks he hides out in and... Sorry, no way up there. Well, there was this one play. We would lower this prop hot air balloon down from the catwalk and then pull it back up again. If you find it, or any other play for crying out loud, just bring it to me and I'll run the actors through it. We're so desperate for new material around here. Hey, what's this? A new script? Night of Joy. Weird. It smells like popcorn and it doesn't say which set to play it on. Oh well, we'll just play it on whatever's on stage. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <sighs> Here, you can be my first AD. Use the megaphone if you want to run the play again. Okay, new script, everybody. Let's practice. And action. Mother, mother, tell me true of the dad I never knew. He was brave in thought and deed. Can't you hear his mighty steed? Wow. Mr. Rolls, but do you have any more scripts? Ah, you've tasted excellence, and now you're back begging for another bowl of quality theater? Not really, but I think that if I find a play that moves the props around in just the right way, I can use them to get up to the catwalks and fight the Phantom. Well, unfortunately for you, that's the last script I'll waste on this theater. I'm saving the rest. Just dig around the sets. I'm sure you'll find some horrible scripts in there. Oh, except do not do that, because they certainly would not help you get to the catwalks, which are very dangerous anyway. So give up. Huzzah, forsooth! What is thine sweet smell in the air? Let us 
spin and be happy, entwined in this pole of love, forever young and twisty. Rejoice, for spring has besat in upon ourselves, and the spirit of May is a lingering. Hooray! is exactly why we need to practice. Beat it, kid, I'm through. As long as Jasper and that phantom are out there, I'm staying back here, wallowing in my glamorous torment. You're not scared of that phantom, are you? No, it's not him I'm frightened of. It's that fat one who clings to the side of the theater like a blood-swollen tick sucking out its life. Ew. He's always been there, but he wasn't always that big and loud. I couldn't hear him much at all, really, until Gloria's mother hit the stage. He didn't like her performance either? No, I mean hit the stage, cause splat, jumped from the catwalks while Gloria was in Paris. Ew. Yeah, that's what the janitor said, too. The show must go on. Yeah, it must go on without me. As long as Jasper rolls and that phantom are out there. Sorry, kid. I'll leave you alone now. I know you have a lot of crying to do.
Ra Somebody could get hurt! 